Hi guys, today I have my project use it up March finish results and April finish goals. So every month I do this kind of video to set myself a list of products I want to finish in the next month. So I have um, all the finished products in my empties videos already. So I do give detailed view in my empties. If you're curious about any of the products I have finished, you can go ahead and go up there and I will link it up here, of course. And I would just jump in because I do have quite a few products to cover right here. So I have finished a um, dry shampoo from Claro. This is only a sample size. I don't like it. And I have finished a body butter from the body shop. This is in the scent papaya. And I have finished my face wash uh, from Olay. This is fresh effects out of this world. That's pretty good. And then I finished a sample size body wash from Caress. This is in the scent Love Forever. I have finished two lotions. Actually, last month I said I only wanted to finish one of them, but um, I was even kind of scared I couldn't finish the entire tube. But yeah, you never know, I actually finished two. And then I finished this um, Michael Todd pumpkin mask. It's a sample size and I really like it. I also finished a youth code moisturizer from, uh, from L'Oreal. So I broke the packaging a couple months ago and I had to pour everything into this lush pot, but I did finish that up. And I also finished this cleansing oil from Garnier. So I put in the Ziploc because it gets extremely messy I really love the oil and it's just too messy. I know um, it's not worth the trouble. I finished this guy. It's really sad though. It's from Lancome. It's the Youth Activating Concentrate. And I didn't have much left last month and I was able to finish it and I love it. I finished this sample size Olay Regenerous Micro Sculpting Cream and it didn't last me too long though, maybe only like two, three weeks and I really like that guy. And then I have a whole bunch of samples that I have finished. This one is from E Salon. It's the perfect ending leaving conditioner. Um, no, never gonna repurchase this. It's, I don't know what it did to my hair, like nothing. And I finished this Lorac Cobra Mascara. That was pretty good. And I finished the Ask the Louder Advanced Night Repair Eye Serum. It's only a sample size. And I finished a face um, primer. This is from Lorac. It's a Perfection Mattifying Face Primer. And then I finished this sample size Chlorine Floral Eye Makeup Remover. I really loved it. And I have finished the Burgess Deep Hydration Finishing Treatment. I used this on my body actually. So that's all the products I said I wanted to finish in March and I was able to. And also I have a few products that I said I wanted to finish but I wasn't able to finish. So let me show you those ones. First one here, it's a really big surprise to me. It's a Paula's Choice Clear Ultra Light Daily Mattifying Fluid. So you could see that it, it really doesn't look like it has anything left anymore. I've been using it every day for the month of March and it's been looking like this since the beginning of March. So I really don't know. This is the product that never ends and I would definitely want to finish this in April, of course. And I have this toner from Kiehl's. Really, I don't have much left at all. So that's where I was um, at the beginning of March. I thought I could finish it but I probably just have like one more week left. So I want to finish that in April for sure. I think that's everything I mentioned in March. And I do add uh, a few products this month that I want to finish, but not a lot because I know I will be traveling a whole lot this month. I'll be out of town for like 10 days, I think. So I don't want to burden myself too much. And I know I will be... Um, only using a lot of travel size products, so I probably wouldn't be able to pack everything I want to use. Um, so I'm kind of like giving myself a little break, so I didn't put too much products in this month. 
So first of all, I want to finish this pack of simple micellar um, makeup wipes. So I probably still have like half of the pack left. It has 25 wipes, so I think I can finish that no problem. And I want to finish a few face masks. Two of them are from my beauty diary. This is, um, I don't know, I have a pack of 10 of them. And I always loved um, the beauty diary masks. I've never used this kind before though. So uh, I'm curious to give it a try. And I think the sheet mask, those are just two uses. It shouldn't be a problem. And then I want to finish this Bliss Fabulous Skin Reviving Rub Rising Musk. So this one, it's, it's powder inside and you kind of mix it with water. It's very interesting and it's very effective in um, controlling my acne. So I really like using this. And usually one pack will get me two uses, so I can use that up. Then I have a few travel size body care products because I know I will be bringing them with me so I probably could finish them. First, I have this body uh, wash from Bath & Body Works. It's in the scent Honolulu Sun, so I want to finish that up. Then I put in two travel size lotions because I know I use lotions a whole lot. And those two are the same. It's the Nemea Extended Moisture Body Lotion. I still have quite a few of those in my collection. I've used many of those before too. I quite like them and they're not the best during the winter, but right now the weather is picking up quite a bit and I am going to the Bay Area. So I think those would be um, enough for me. So I want to use two of them. And nowadays lotions aren't just enough for me anymore because I'm pregnant and I'm trying to prevent stretch marks. So I use quite a bit of body oil on me too. This is from Avene, it's their Hoile. It's probably not English, it's just body oil. So I've used it just a little bit. I've used it probably like two or three times so far. I think I don't like this one very much though because it's really, really thick. It's really hard to spread and I don't think I like the scent of it too much either. But I got it from a subscription box and I just want to use that up. And then I have this um, sample size um, shampoo, jeez. <laughs> I don't know why I blanked there, but uh, I think this came from a subscription box as well. I don't wash my hair very often, maybe only like at most twice a week. So during my 10 days of travel, I probably only wash my hair like twice or three times. So I think this should be enough. Then I have those two hair things. The first one is from Caviar. It's their CC Cream 10-in-1 Complete Correction Leaving Hair Perfector. That's a long name. So this is where I am now. Um, I set it on the side a little bit so it doesn't look like the line is lining up with it, but I promise that's how much I have left. So I use this in my hair after I wash them, of course, and I really love this product. I think it's probably a stretch for me to finish the entire thing, but I definitely want to give it a try. The other one is from Bumble and Bumble. It's BB All Style Blow Dry. So I have had this in my, or I've been using it for quite a while already, but I don't like the product very much and I'm sure I don't have much left. So I just want to kind of push it out of my collection now. Then I have this um, face spray mist kind of thing from Avain and it's a sample size. I know I don't have much left. I usually like using them um, when I finish my makeup, but a lot of times I'm just lazy, so I want to just finish that. Maybe I can bring it with me on the plane, so that would be nice. Then I also want to try to finish this night cream from Derma E. It's the Hydrating Night Cream. So I had this in my, or I tried to use it for a while too, but um, I realized it's a little too much to use both lotion and serum on my face because of the breakouts that I get. So now I am at the end of my serum. I think I can try to uh, move on to the lotion now. Talking about serum, here I have a really small sample size um, serum product from Lancome. It's a Visionaire Beauty Sleep Perfector. I think this is their new product. I don't know, I haven't heard much about it, but I use it just as a um, serum kind of product. So. It doesn't have much left, so I just want to use that. 
Then I only have two makeup products. The first one is Revlon Lip Butter in the color Cherry Tart. So I have put this in my round two project tin pan and I have just uploaded that. I will link it up here, of course, if you're interested, check it out. So this is how much I have left now. There you can see the line. So I really don't have much left. I think I can finish that. Then also I want to finish this foundation. It's from Raymol. It's the Match Perfection. And I have the color 240 Soft Beige. So this one actually surprised me. When I started like two weeks ago, that's how much I had left. And in two weeks time, I realized I could use quite a bit of it. So, you know, I might as well just finish it now. And this is also in my Project Tin Pan. The very last product is a small perfume. This is from, I always forget how to say it, Bogali, I think. Um, I got this from my Allure Beauty Box in February, I think. I haven't used it, and I think this is a perfect size to bring with me for a 10-day trip. And I will link the actual name of this perfume up here because I don't remember, to be honest with you. But I do like the scent, though. So there you have it. That's everything I wanted to finish in March. And I finished the majority of them, and also I added a few products to finish in April. Not a whole lot, but as I said, it's because I will be traveling, so I'm not going to be too hard on myself. So let me know how you guys are doing project pan-wise and how much products you were able to finish. Thank you guys for watching. Bye!